Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a special connection with a wild animal? In the case of Petronella Yvonne de Orla, this connection proved to be both beautiful and tragic. Her story involves Bocchino, a majestic silverback gorilla who escaped his enclosure and mauled her in front of a horrified zoo visit. This incident serves as a cautionary tale of the potential danger posed by these great apes and underscores the importance of respecting animals' boundaries. But what led to Bokino's violent outburst and could it have been prevented? In this video, we'll delve deeper into the circumstances surrounding this incident and explore the broader implications of how we interact with animals. So, if you're curious to learn more about this intriguing tale of a human-animal interaction, be sure to stick around until the end. To truly understand gorillas, we must first appreciate their impressive physical characteristics and unique behaviors. As the largest of the great apes, gorillas are a sight to behold, with two species, western and eastern, and several subspecies inhabiting the African continent. These intelligent creatures live in troops led by a dominant male, or silverback, who protects and guides the group. Interestingly, silverbacks are distinguished by a patch of silver hair on their backs, which signifies their maturity. Despite their similarities to humans, sharing between 95 and 99% of our genetic code, gorillas are still wild animals and must be treated with respect and caution. Their human-like hands and expressive faces can sometimes give us a false sense of familiarity, leading to dangerous situations. It's essential to remember that even the gentlest gorilla is still a powerful creature capable of causing harm if threatened or provoked. Gorillas are generally known for their gentle nature and love for solitude, but they can quickly become agitated and aggressive if they perceive a threat. It is crucial to avoid provoking these animals, as they are much stronger than humans, with adult gorillas possessing six times the upper body strength of an average human. Additionally, gorillas have sharp canines that they use to grind tough plant material and protect themselves from other male gorillas competing for dominance. With a bite force of 1,300 psi, their teeth are powerful enough to bite through flesh and bone. One gorilla who gained notoriety for his aggression was Bokito a male western gorilla who was born in captivity at a zoo in Berlin. Bokito's mother abandoned him at birth and he was hand-raised by human caretakers. In 2005, when Bokito was just 9 years old, he was transferred to a zoo in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. On May 18, 2007, Bokito, then 11 years old and already a full-grown silverback gorilla, made the headlines when he attacked a visitor to the zoo. The incident served as a stark reminder of the potential danger posed by these majestic but powerful animals. Bokito was relocated to Dieren Park Zoo in Rotterdam due to his inability to exhibit the desired group behavior among his fellow gorillas, which is believed to be a result of his time as a pampered baby at the Berlin Zoo. Additionally, his relocation aimed to prevent the risk of inbreeding among the gorillas and increase Bokito's chance of leading a normal life. After arriving at the Dieren Park Zoo, Bokito adapted well to his new environment and was housed in the Great Ape section of the zoo. Despite being popular among visitors, Bokito seemed to have a special connection with a 57-year-old woman named Petronella Yvonne de Orda and her husband. The couple visited Bokito almost every day, with some weeks seeing them visiting more than four times. De Orda believed that she and Bokito had a unique bond and whenever she smiled at him, she felt that he smiled back at her. The gorilla became her darling, and their relationship dates back to Bokito's infancy at the Berlin Zoo when he was only four months old, as the woman has pictures and videos of him from that time. Nothing could come between them, and their bond seemed unbreakable. Several days prior to the incident that resulted in the woman's injuries at the hands and teeth of her beloved gorilla, a zoo caretaker had issued a warning to the woman about her potentially hazardous behavior. The caretaker advised her to stop approaching Bokito and to avoid making eye contact with him. Although prolonged the eye contact is often seen as a gesture of trust and emotional collection among humans, it is generally considered a sign of dominance, aggression, and threat among most animals, including pets. Therefore, staring at a silverback gorilla in the eye can be interpreted as an invitation to violence, which is why the caretaker's warning was crucial. However, the woman chose to ignore the warning, 
which ultimately proved to be a costly mistake. On May 18, 2007, the woman and her husband returned to the zoo, as they were frequent visitors of Boquitos. Unfortunately, that day wasn't ideal for visiting or staring at the gorilla. As various sources report, Boquito was agitated due to an incident that occurred earlier that day, where visitors had thrown stones at him. Perhaps the Orda and her husband were unaware of the occurrence, but they proceeded with their usual routine. They approached Boquito's enclosure and spent some time admiring him as they made their way towards the small apes in the African section. Suddenly, a loud splash echoed through the air, and chaos ensued. Boquito had managed to escape his enclosure, an unthinkable feat. Not only had the gorilla climbed over a tall wall, but he had also crossed a moat, defying his natural inability to swim. The caretaker's warning proved to be prescient as the woman's behavior played a significant role in the incident. Had she followed the caretaker's advice and avoided approaching Boquito or making prolonged eye contact, the tragic events of that day could have been avoided. The incident underscores the importance of respecting animals' boundaries and understanding their behavior, particularly when dealing with potentially dangerous species like gorillas. People rushed to take cover, hiding their wailing children away from the almost 400-pound ape. But it was also 100% clear that Boquito was only interested in Patronella de Orda, when as the man approached the woman, he suddenly grabbed her arm. The powerful gorilla, known as Boquito, then crushed her hand and broke her wrist and lower arm. But the attack didn't end there. With his full weight on the woman, Bokita bared his long, sharp canines and began to bite her repeatedly. The woman, known as De Orda, feared for her life as she felt the gorilla's teeth sinking into her flesh. Despite her injuries, Bokita then proceeded to drag her around by her severely injured arm, making his way towards the zoo restaurant where several people had taken refuge. Blood covered Bokito's mouth as he continued his rampage, smashing windows, chairs, and tables. The situation only ended when Bokito was sedated with a tranquilizer and placed back in his cage. In the weeks following the incident, the case garnered widespread media attention, with people trying to understand the possible reason behind the gorilla's violent behavior. Initially, one zookeeper speculated that Bokito may have been reacting to De Orda's eye contact as she may not have appeared submissive enough to the dominant animal. De Orda's husband, on the other hand, was convinced that Bokito had specifically targeted his wife and accused the zoo of being aware of the gorilla's escape risk, as Bokito had escaped his enclosure before. As the media frenzy continued, experts in primatology, biology, and even philosophy weighed in on the incident. Some suggested that Bokito's actions may have been motivated by love rather than anger, they theorized that the gorilla had developed an attachment to De Orda, and seeing her every day without being able to approach her may have led to feelings of frustration and anger, ultimately resulting in the attack. The allegations of Boquito falling in love with a female visitor at Darren Park Zoo were dismissed by the zoo's director, Dora Stein, who argued that gorillas don't experience romantic love. Instead, she suggested that Boquito may have been interested in integrating the visitor known as Orda, into his group. Orda had formed a habit of contacting Bokito, eliciting a response and then leaving him every time. The director also expressed her opinion that Bokito's former zoo, Berlin Zoo, had been taken too lenient with him. This sentiment was echoed by Berlin Zoo officials who admitted to taking Bokito to a pizza parlor when he was young. Lildorp Zoo, where Bokito currently resides, was also criticized for not providing adequate safety measures for visitors. As a result, the ape enclosure was modified to include a one-way mirror to prevent Bokito from seeing people who may direct their gaze at it. Despite the controversy surrounding Bokito, he remains a beloved figure and has fathered 10 offspring, with the latest being born in 2022. The story of Bokito raises important questions about the ethical treatment of gorillas in captivity and the role of zoos in preserving these remarkable animals. Thanks for tuning into this video exploring the tragic story of Bokino, the silverback gorilla who escaped his enclosure and mauled a visitor. It's important to remember that gorillas, despite their gentle nature, are still wild animals that must be treated with respect and caution. Bokino's story serves as a reminder of the potential danger posed by these magnificent creatures but it also raises important questions about the ethical treatment of animals in captivity 
and the role of zoos in preserving endangered species. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.